In this video, I'm teaching you eight awesome shots you can do with your Insta360 X4. Let's go. One of the first types of shots is the snorri cam effect. And this is a really cool shot to do where the camera's locked onto the subject, but the world is moving around them. You create this really cool trippy kind of effect. It's used a lot in scenes where someone is drunk in a film or they've been drugged or something, but it's also used a lot in music videos. And well, it's kind of just a cool shot you could use anywhere, I suppose. Obviously it's gotta make sense, but it is a very cool shot to use. The easiest way I've found to do the snorri cam effect with the X4 is by simply having a really rigid arm and using the invisible selfie stick. If you hold it out in front of you and as you turn your torso, the camera moves with you and you have to be really strict with this because otherwise it doesn't sell the effect super well. There's another way where you utilize a tripod and this is something I've done in another video that you can see at the end of this video with a mirrorless camera. It's much harder with a mirrorless camera because it weighs more, but if we use the X4, it's actually a lot simpler. All you have to do is get any kind of tripod, make two of the three legs longer than the other and put those past your waist. Then you'll put the shorter leg into your belt and then you get a second belt, tie that belt around your waist, tying the other two legs into it, tighten it nice and tight so it stays secure and your hands free. Method number two, the GTA cam. A game that many of us have probably played in the past, and of course it's renowned for its third person style where you are behind the character, slightly above, so that you can see everything going on around them as well as what they're seeing. This is a really cool shot that we can easily recreate with the X4. And thankfully there's two ways to do this, one easy and one eh, with a little bit of work. The first way is to do something similar like we did with the snorri cam shot in method one. Simply put the invisible selfie stick behind you and extra points if you walk like a GTA character. Here I'm using the extended invisible selfie stick to give myself a bit more room for like what's in front of me and what's around me, but you can just use the smaller invisible selfie stick if you only have that. The second way to do this is with a backpack. Now Insta360 actually do sell an accessory, a backpack accessory, so that you can have third person kind of top down point of view shots. And whilst that is literally perfect for this, it's something you have to pay for it. Whereas you probably already have a backpack. So for this method, I like to use my Peak Design bag. I'll slide the invisible selfie stick down inside the side section of my backpack. And then when I close the backpack lid, that holds the invisible selfie stick rigid and steady and gives me a perfectly smooth and locked on top down third person point of view shot. These are methods for doing on your own. And whilst I do really like them, they are technically more top-down shots than third-person GTA style shots. Really the best way to get that kind of shot is to have someone follow you around with the X4 at a high angle, but still maybe 45 degrees behind you. So you actually get that kind of shot, but still a good alternative if you're on your own. Shot number three, the 360 drone shot. With it becoming harder and harder to film with drones in general around like, I mean, this is a nice area, but I don't think I can film with drones here. Because it's private land, I can't actually fly a drone around here. I'm pretty sure. I'm positive someone from Manchester is probably gonna correct me in the comments. But with the BBC thing nearby and you're not even allowed to film with a normal camera there, can't really chance it. Using a 360 camera with the extended invisible selfie stick can give you a pretty viable drone-esque kind of shot. I don't think it's a full replacement for a drone because you can get considerably higher and a different kind of focal range with drones, but it is a kind of viable option if you're unable to use a drone in the area that you're in. Now there's a couple of ways we can do this. We can either just be very high up and do some smooth, careful movements to mimic something like a DJI Mavic Pro, or we can be much more adventurous and create more movement to create a shot that is similar to what you might capture with an FPV drone. And to make the FPV style shot even more believable, we can go into the Insta360 Studio app and add some motion blur to the shot so it looks more realistic. Now, like I said earlier, these shots won't replace an actual drone shot. But if you're in a location that doesn't allow filming with drones, like in a national park or something like that, then this is a great alternative to kind of get a drone shot. Next shot is the spin reveal shot. Now, I really like this kind of shot because you can get really creative with it. You can go from one place to another like this, or you can go from one place to another, to another, to another, to another, like this. 
Now this is a really fun shot to do with the X4 because you're revealing the area that you're in in a really interesting way. You're, you're doing it with some movement and rather than doing it with a static shot which can be pretty boring, you're doing it with some movement. Now to do this, it's very simple. Extend your invisible selfie stick, be it the normal one or the extended one, and simply just swing around in an arcing motion. Now obviously, please be careful not to hit anyone. You want to do this kind of away from people and it's just a fun way to reveal a location. Really, really sick shot you could do with the X4. Now the next method is the pull through shot. Having a smaller camera means that you can pull it through different places much more easily. The X4 is so small you can pull it through bars, branches, heck even a car with ease. However, don't just pull the X4 through a couple of bars on a bridge because you can. Make sure it adds creatively to your video and is an interesting kind of shot to use. Shot number six, the car cam. Now this is basically the GTA third person style shot, but with your car. Now to do this, you need a very specific mount that attaches to your car. Insta360 and Newer both make a three suction cup mount that lets you mount your Insta360 to your car. Now I have the newer one because it's cheaper <laughs> and it works the same and it includes the invisible selfie stick. The beauty of this is that you can mount it anywhere on your car. So whilst yes, we can get this really cool third person kind of view, we can also put it on the side of the car, the front of the car, anywhere that you can fit the three suction cups and get some really interesting interesting shots with your X4. Shot seven, the ultimate BTS camera. Because of the nature of a 360 camera, the X4 is the ultimate behind the scenes shooter. Before, when I used to do my freelancing, I would have to hire someone to shoot BTS photos and videos of whatever I was doing on the shoot. Now though, I, I don't really have to. So long as I have a way to attach my X4 to my camera rig, be it handheld or on a gimbal, and usually to do this, I just use a magic arm, then I can get behind the scenes shots really easily. If you do a fair bit of client work and you want someone to capture the behind the scenes, I would seriously consider hiring the X4. <laughs> and last but not least, the warp shot. The beauty of a 360 camera is you're capturing everything at the same time. What that also gives us is incredible stabilization. The reason this works is quite technical, but essentially because you're viewing everything at the same time, the camera has tracking points within your shot of everywhere at the same time. So you're able to just stabilize like crazy. So with that said, if we use the X4 like a normal camera, combined with some fancy footwork, we can get a really cool car edit just like this. The X4 is a very simple and easy camera to use, so it's nice to be able to just go for it and get some incredible footage out of this thing. Those are my favorite ways to use the Insta360 X4 and are some awesome shots you can capture with a 360 camera. If you guys found this video helpful at all, please hit the subscribe button and also smash the like button because it actually does help out the video with the algorithm. And if you guys have any other ways that I haven't mentioned to use the X4, comment below what those are because I want everyone to be able to learn as much as possible about filmmaking and the X4 is such a cool camera. It's so much fun. I'm for sure gonna do a follow-up video to this one day when I figure out some other cool ways to use this camera and also also, you know, if you buy more accessories for this thing, it just lets you do more cool things with it. So I'm very excited for that point. But in the meantime, if you're looking to see which is the best tiny gimbal of 2024, check out this video over here.